Hey everybody, Justin here with Try Like Silver. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in about a week. Um, it's been kind of a rough week. Um, as you can see, I cut my hair, got my beard shaved, and that's because I'm gonna need to go for interviews soon. I lost my job. Um, it's taken a bit of its toll on me. Uh, kinda sucks, but I can't say it's completely not my fault. Um, but at the same time, it's really a big relief um, because I wasn't very happy at my job. And now I get to get out there and see what else God might have in store for me. I really feel like to a point it was holding me back. But at the same time, it I needed it. Um, and well, I say I needed it, but... <laughs> Perhaps I don't even know what I need. Maybe I needed to quit. But anyways, I uh, wanted to give you all a little preview of the aftermath of that and uh, show you all what I'm going to be doing here in the future with the videos, which is recleaning. Um, I'm not here to disappoint anybody. I didn't expect to hit the rut, but I did. This is what I was expecting. This is what I was waiting for. I knew something had to fall, and it did. And um, But it's okay because... My hope isn't in this life, and I know that. My hope is in Jesus and Him alone, and what He's done for me on the cross, and what He did for every one of you on the cross. So, I'm going to give you a little preview of the aftermath here. Um, let's see. So, there's some of the trash. There's more of the trash. It's, uh, like I said, been a bit rough. Um, the back, or fortunately, I guess not fortunately, uh, thank God, <laughs> it's not gotten too much worse. Um, it's actually gotten a little bit better. Uh, we still have plans to move into the apartment. It's probably not going to happen this weekend now, but it is going to be happening. Um, just got to get some stuff worked out and got to get in for some interviews. So anyways, um, thank you so much guys for your time. Anybody who watches this video, thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, anybody new, uh, take a look back at what I've gone through so far, and um, yeah, so I don't think, I gotta go back and look, but I don't think anybody's guessed that proof year yet, and I'm still sending out these giveaways, I, I, I'm still sending them out, but with the loss of the job, I had a little trouble with the shipping costs, um, which isn't going to delay it too much longer, because I do have uh, money coming in that is meant for that. Um, but it, it, it really did sort of put a damper on things. So anyways, um, thank you so much again for all y'all's love and support. Um, I, I honestly feel like I've failed again and, um, that's trying to keep me down. It's trying, it's really trying to make me just want to give up, which I don't even know what giving up looks like in my situation because what am I going to, where am I going to run? Where am I going to go? Like, I don't have money to do any of that. I'm just going to end up in a truck somewhere that I can't pay the insurance for or something. Um, but the last thing I would ever do, and I want everybody to know this is to take my own life um that's something that definitely would not happen and if any of you are feeling that way uh about your own life please please get help go tell anybody and everybody that you can that you're having these feelings because it's if you bottle it up and you tell nobody you will not realize how many people would have actually cared and noticed but at the same time don't go out there and make yourself seem um how do I say this? That wasn't the right words. That was, uh, I was going to say, don't, don't go out there and make it seem like you're going crazy. But at the same time, if you're going crazy, go get help. Um, you don't have to end up on a fifth floor to get help. Your friends, your family, your pastors, your mentors, um, those that you respect the character of, go tell those people that you're having trouble. Don't wait. Um, it's, it's, it's a beast. Um, I've had many friends in my, you know, that were friends of the family that have killed themselves. And, um, it's, it's so devastating when, if you told somebody, 
if they had told someone, they might still be here. They might have been able to get through it. So, anyways, um, sorry to get so heavy on you guys, but I wanted to assure you that nothing like that's going to happen here. Um, I'm just a little overwhelmed. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. Um, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Um, again, thank you. Thank you again. I love you all so much. And I will definitely be back on here with more videos of cleaning the truck. Um, I'm thinking of some other things I want to do with the channel. And while the coins have kind of slowed, I, I think I found something the other day. Um, I'm having trouble remembering what it was. So anyways, uh, thanks again for being here, y'all. Have a great night. I love you and I appreciate you. Um, pray for me. I'll, if you need any prayers, put them in the comments below. And I'll be sure to make sure I add them every night to my prayers. So um, thank you again for your love and support. And I appreciate y'all. Have a great night. And uh, be safe. Love you. Bye.